Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Sean, and today we got to talk about what's going on with Pamela Price. And specifically, this is actually not about her impending recall campaign, although that will be covered in the not too distant future by me on this channel. This actually has to do with the fact that Pamela Price has taken the unprecedented, insane step of charging a former district attorney that used to work in her office with a misdemeanor for actually doing his job in a legitimate manner. Yes, Pamela Price, the district attorney who doesn't prosecute anyone, who actually said the district attorney's office has no impact on crime at all whatsoever, is now targeting her political opponents with the prosecution power. At the same time, she's cutting sweetheart deals for triple murderers. It's an absolutely insane story. I've looked into it. I've verified the information by depending on other people's verification because I'm not a journalist and I need to deliver this to you but before we get into that I want to thank everybody who signed up actualjusticewarrior.com slash join where you get early access to the videos via the secret video page I will give me the money give you give me the money okay and thank you to my listeners on Apple Spotify and Google's podcasting platform the Alameda County District Attorney has filed a criminal charge against one of her most vocal critics, a prosecutor himself. So when I see a story like this, I'm incredibly cautious before I get into it. And one of the reasons why I tend to try to be cautious related to this is due to the fact that this story seems like one of those things that, that somebody on my side might think it's too good to fact check. However, in reality, this is legitimate. Pamela Price is targeting one of her most vocal critics, somebody who is the lead felony prosecutor in the office that she currently occupies that she put on leave two weeks after she took office and replaced with an absolutely insane public defender by the way and of course she's doing this for what seems to be obvious political purposes and we're going to see that through the documentation. Butch Ford received the Alameda County Prosecutor of the Year Award just a few years ago and led the felony trial team but after just two weeks in office District Attorney Pamela Price placed Ford on administrative leave and he went public. Pam Price has lost the mission of the DA's office, which is to speak on behalf of victims and for the people who don't have a voice. So one of the things that people don't realize about these district attorney's offices is that they are run by the staff. And while you've had people come into office and try to institute reforms before, usually we've had a consistent system due to the fact that you have people who work in these offices, who know the cases that they're prosecuting, and are fierce advocates for the victims and for prosecuting the perpetrators perpetrators in these instances. However, just like Chesa Budin in San Francisco, Pamela Price, one of these burn it down George Soros district attorneys, immediately took aim at the staff, fired a bunch of people, put them on administrative leave, and replaced them with soft on crime public defenders who don't want to prosecute anybody except, of course, for law abiding citizens. Ford criticized Price for her charging decisions in the death of Jasper Wu during a freeway shooting. Now, the local news glosses over the death of Jasper Wu, but but to be clear, there was a shootout on the freeway. Two-year-old Jasper Wu was killed in that shootout. And Pamela Price, because she doesn't believe in enhancements for any circumstances at all whatsoever, decided that she was going to ensure that these people would get out someday by taking life without the possibility of parole off the table. So we have an incident where people are firing a gun so recklessly that it killed a two-year-old. And Pamela Price is thinking about the lives that these people who did the crime were going to live by letting her starting point be lower than that threshold. We ultimately don't know what the resolution of that case will be, but needless to say, if you're already moving towards the defendant in those circumstances, the chance of a high bar sentence probably not likely. And now Price has filed a misdemeanor charge against Ford, defending after public prosecution as the prosecutor. So just think about what was just said there by the local news. The misdemeanor charge that Pamela Price's fiercest political opponent in Alameda County is facing. Defending after a public prosecution as the prosecutor. Think about how insane this is. Think about how asinine this is. This is a guy who works in the district attorney's office. Now, by the way, he's moved over to the San Francisco district attorney's office because the new district attorney over there that replaced Boudin actually wants experienced prosecutors on her team, but he is being charged with advocating for the defendant too much in a case. Let me state that again with the context to show you how absurd that is. 
Pamela Price, the woman who refused to charge enhancements for people who murdered a two-year-old on the highway because she didn't want them to get life without parole. Pamela Price, the same woman, as we covered on this channel, who murdered a state's witness for her office, for the Alameda County District Attorney's Office, and two other murders allowed that guy to plead guilty to just one count of manslaughter, which with time served and the structure of California's legal system would actually let him out in maybe eight years total time served, is deciding that you can't advocate too much for a defendant. Now, let's see if this prosecutor was doing this. Let's see if this prosecutor was actually defending this crazy criminal defendant in a way that was untoward, in a way that is deserving a prosecution. The case stems from the police shooting at the San Leandro Walmart in April 2020. Hey, I have to shop with this subject. Um, he's in a store right now, and he's trying to leave the store. Workers accused Stephen Taylor of trying to shoplift, and he refused to put down a baseball bat when police arrived. Officer Jason Fletcher tased Taylor twice and then shot and killed him. Oh. After then, District Attorney Nancy O'Malley filed a manslaughter charge against the officer. Judge Don Clay allowed the case to move forward, but added, I don't, under any circumstances, do I see 12 people saying the evidence here is going to be sufficient to support a guilty verdict. I just don't see it. Okay, so what we have here is a clear and obvious clean police shooting. You have somebody who is being arrested for retail theft. They are resisting arrest. They are wielding a weapon, a baseball bat. The officer goes with the non-lethals first. That would be the taser, deploys the taser two separate times the guy is still resisting arrest so the officer ultimately ends up discharging his firearm against the armed suspect they go to bring manslaughter charges against the cop this was not pamela price this was actually the previous district attorney but it's post the black lives matter riots so anti-cop sentiment is at an all-time high they charge with manslaughter the judge looks at this and says this is ridiculous and absurd i'm going to allow this to go forward however i don't think in any way shape or form that this is going to lead to a conviction 12 people would have to be absolutely out of their mind to convict on this case and we're still not talking about what Ford allegedly did in these circumstances. Butch Ford was in charge of assigning a prosecutor to the case. But in this declaration he provided for the defense, Ford describes his conversations in January with Quazan Malouf, a 22-year veteran of the San Francisco Public Defender's Office, who Pamela Price brought in as her assistant district attorney. Ford wrote, Mr. Malouf told me, I don't give a damn what Judge Don Clay said. I came here to charge cops. They better be ready. They better Google me. Ford wrote in another meeting, I explained to Mr. Maloof that Officer Fletcher had the same right of self-defense that any charged defendant would have. Maloof answered, if it were up to me, I would charge him with murder. So if you guys are confused, if you guys are unaware of what's going on, that exchange that this prosecutor ended up having with the defense attorney for this police officer would be the criminal act. That would be the misdemeanor. He disclosed information to a defense attorney that essentially outlined the fact that this was a political prosecution against his client. By the way, not disclosing this information would essentially be a Brady violation. So Pamela Price is charging a former prosecutor in her area, a current prosecutor in San Francisco, with a misdemeanor due to the fact that he disclosed information to the defense attorney who has to defend his client. That, that's what's going on right now. These people who are all about supposedly due process and the defendant's rights and all that behind the scenes reveal to us that they're politically motivated thugs. They're criminals. This guy's like, Google me. Again, the absolute arrogance, the hubris that these people operated with, the self-importance, and this is the district attorney of that area. They fired the number one guy, the lead of their felony prosecution unit, and promoted this doofus who who's like, I'm here to charge cops. I don't care if it fits. I want to charge this guy with murder, even though I know it doesn't apply because I'm a 22 year veteran of the public defender's office. And in that time, I didn't learn anything about the defendant's rights. All I did was represent criminals because I'm anti-cop, anti-law enforcement, and a radical leftist with an insane ideology. This cop, by the way, is being thrown on the pyre as a sacrifice to the Black Lives Matter movement. And I want to make things 100% clear the footage shows undeniably that he was 100 justified you're armed with a bat they try to tase you a couple of times you're resisting arrest you are not obligated as a police officer to take that bat to the dome in order to make pamela price and this absolute doofus who wants you to google him 
feel better. The idea that behind the scenes, this is how they operate should be surprising to no one. These are the same exact people, the same exact thugs, the same exact criminals themselves who back up the murderers time and time again while trying to prosecute legitimate law enforcement. You want to talk about how recruitment is down in Oakland? This is a big indicator that if you're an Oakland police officer, you should not be on the force because not only was this shooting clean by the book, I would teach it in a class to officers in the future, but even when confronted with information that shows that it's clean, even when confronted with information that shows shows that it's legitimate, a good shoot, something that should be taught to the new recruits. Behind the scenes, they're looking for ways to charge enhancements, to charge above what is actually even legally chargeable in these cases, regardless of what the judge says, the warning that was given, because they just want to go after cops. They just want to make a political statement. They definitely should recall Pamela Price. They should be charging these people as the criminals that they actually are, and they should leave their former felony lead prosecutor alone and and not try to prosecute him for political purposes. This is absolutely ridiculous and absurd, considering the absolute garbage that Pamela Price's office gets away with on a regular basis. This is not outside the bounds of what is legally permissible. It's just insanity in every possible way. And of course, this comes out months later when Pamela Price is facing a recall, her targeting her political opponent, them laughing it up, enjoying it, talking about how you should Google them. And I definitely want want to google them in the future when they're unemployed bums and we never have to hear from them ever again everybody's entitled to their opinion but if their opinion is so strong if their opinion is so strongly held that he can't give consideration to anything other than murder 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 he is not fit to prosecute the case under the law. I 100% agree. If you're that biased in terms of a prosecution, if you have that much of a conflict of interest, if you're so interested in people Googling you to find out you're this self-styled civil rights attorney and how amazing you are and how you want to make a statement, you're unfit to be a prosecutor. By the way, if you're a public defender for 22 years and you're more interested in going after law enforcement than lawbreakers, you're also unfit to be a prosecutor. This could not have been made clearer. And that declaration is why Pamela Price filed the misdemeanor charge against Butch Ford. He texted me this afternoon, like everything else she's done since January, this will backfire too. I've done nothing wrong and her clear abuse of authority doesn't change that. What Butch Ford did was not only noble and honorable, but in my opinion, and this is probably the most crucial thing, I think he was legally obligated to do so. This is a basic of the ethics of being a practicing attorney and revealing that this guy is trying to go after you and trying to prosecute you so that when you Google his name, he could look better is absolutely crucial information to put out there into the public because people need to pay attention to this. This is absolute madness. We can see behind the curtain and they're targeting police officers just to make a name for themselves. They know that their charges make no sense even at the manslaughter level, yet they're conspiring behind the scenes in order to charge murder because they don't believe that the police have any self-defense rights. It's insane. It's absolutely absurd, and it's going to go on until Pamela Price is removed from office. So yes, we will talk about the recall. Yes, I support the removal of Pamela Price. Obviously, she would have never been elected, but you need to know what's going on behind the scenes, how bad it actually is before we can actually have a resolution. But hey, those are just my thoughts. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, show me by leaving a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on all my social media, support me via the support links in the description box of this video. This has been me talking about the absolute madness of Pamela Price's office. Till next time.